The purpose of this video is to convert an inventor file to an AutoCAD file with the intent on laser cutting that file. One of the first things you have to do, AutoCAD exists in the XY plane right here. So if you're modeling something in an inventor, you want to use the XY plane as well to start it. So when I initially, my origin planes that I initially selected, I chose the XY plane to draw this on, so I didn't have to do any flipping of planes in AutoCAD later on. As you can see here, I did a fidget spinner for my daughter Lily. Um, I modeled the part any way you like. Uh, that part's pretty simple. The conversion part, once you have the part done and modeled, I went ahead and went File, Export, Export to DWG. It asked you how you want to save it. I'm going to go ahead and save it as Lily Fidget Spinner and click Save. I already have the file because I just did this, so I'll go ahead and replace it. You probably won't have to do this step. Then I get ahead and go over to AutoCAD. I'll close out this one. And I'll go ahead and open that file. Here's Lily Fidget Spinner, DWG. And I'll go ahead and open it. And it comes in nice and clear. The problem that we have here, we can't go ahead and cut this right now because we brought in a three-dimensional file. And if you rotate it like this, you can see that it actually is a three-dimensional file. Well, I do not want a three-dimensional file for laser cutting. I want a two-dimensional file. So the command I have to use is called flatten, F-L-A-T, -E -N. Flatten. Select objects that you'd like to flatten. I will select all. Enter. Enter again. It asks me to remove hidden lines. I will say yes. And now, as you can see, if I rotate this back up, it is now a two-dimensional file. Now, I know the curves now kind of look disjointed. I do not know how to fix that at this point. If anyone figures that out, please let me know and I'll update the video. But as of now, this is as good as we're going to be able to get. The problem is though, now all of these lines have double lines. It took the top one and it flattened it to the bottom one. So I have two lines here even though you can only see one. The problem with that is the laser cutter is going to cut this out twice because it sees two lines. One, it's going to wear down the tool a little faster, and you'll have larger burn marks on your wood or whatever it is that you're cutting. To fix that, we're going to use a command called overkill. Select objects, again, all, and enter again, and then click OK. And what this is going to do, it's going to replace all the double lines, because in this case, we don't want any double lines. And I'll click OK. So now I only have single lines all throughout here, no repeats. Um, in order to laser cut something, I'll change the layer properties. I'm going to change the color to red because I want to cut this entire thing out. And then I want my line weight to be zero. After that, go ahead and save your object. And we'll go ahead and watch the next video on how to set up the laser cutter to print right from AutoCAD. Thank you very much.